the design intent, um, thinking ahead of time and thinking in your design and how it's going to be manufacturing and what's, what changes that you're going to be made or maybe if you have uh, a lot of uh, things that are the same but are kind of different because they have uh, different uh, measurements or sizes or whatever, uh, you can uh, think in advance and making your designs with the proper sketches and the proper planes and reference planes and, and equations and dimensions and all of that in order to do things like this, for example. And for example, with this, I can control a lot of things. For example, I can control the amount of capacitors for line. So instead of 10, I only have four. And that that doesn't just change the the amount of, of components, also change the geometry of the structure in order to be smaller and, and be able to now uh, adapt to the, the amount of, of components. Uh, maybe I can change the, the height to be a little bit uh, taller. Mm -hmm. Maybe I can change the amount of levels that I have. Uh, it's going to appear now all, all those levels. So that's my tip. Uh, think ahead and prepare for changes. Prepare for the changes that your boss or your client is going to ask you. And you, you'll be fine.